guys welcome back to another video guys today i am going to a lawn race so this race has been held in miningi so we are on the way to miningi right now Tony driving so it's a bit cloudy today so i'm not gonna do a whole long video of the road and driving just a little bit bits and pieces Tony watch this tall thing in the water tower thing yeah. yeah so guys look over on the right hand side you see a tall structure so that's the water tower I've made a little stop. We are passing Lake Albert. So guys, I just decided to stop because it is so peaceful. The atmosphere is relaxing here on this waterfront. Windy today. So guys, I'm walking on the bank. I call it the bank. And it is so relaxing here. Look at this tree. It's windy. Guys, we are off. So you can see the lake still on the other side. So guys, further up the road, we are going to make another stop. There is a statue of an ostrich up there. And I'm going to show you guys that statue. There's a little bit of history about it. So guys, there was a man by the name of John Francis Pigotty, known as the Birdman. So guys, John Pigotty used to ride the ostrich. And before the end of his career in 1899, Pigotty was credited with more than a dozen hold up and murders of several travelers in the area. So guys, we are approaching and I'm gonna get a park and we're gonna I'm gonna walk over. So guys, we make another stop and I am walking towards an ostrich bird. I hope I'm right. This is it. So guys, this is what John used to ride and hold people up. So on one such occasion, a local fisherman was less than impressed 
being held up by the ostrich and its rider and being a great shot with a long rifle wounded the rider and killed the ostrich so guys after the fisherman shot him he scammed off leaving a trail of blood in the sand and until this day they cannot find they didn't find him so it's just a mystery so this is just a little bit of history i like to share with you guys like someone has been fishing here it's a dead fish and guys today is very cold but nevertheless i'm out here and it is so beautiful Guys, we we, are, we make a stop. We're gonna get coffee. Yeah, so guys, this is a little coffee shop that we stop to get something to eat. Guys, I'm gonna go outside and wait on Tony. So it's quite busy out here, guys. We are five minutes away from the event. So, guys, I'm gonna have my cappuccino. Hmm, this is nice. No sugar. So guys, I am now at Meningi, at the venue where the lawnmower race is going to be held. I'm walking in the bar, just looking around. So guys, we are inside. Tony's helping to set up a tent, along with some other folks that we know. And this is where they, they're going to have the race. Around here. So I'll walk around and show you guys where they're going to have the lawnmower. They are starting up over there and making a lot of noise. You can put it in there. So guys, the lawnmowers start, they start to borrow already. So guys, I'm heading to where all the lawnmowers are parked up. Yes, so this is the fence that we go right around. So guys, these are the lawnmowers. Seven. Four, four, four. That's a lucky number. Yeah. Yes. You'd think they'd work it out before, wouldn't you? Yeah, they'd be a fight, 
Just going over the right dry screen. <laughs> Guys, hear all the excitement start. They couldn't get the gazebo in the middle last year. Oh. The hay bales were too close, they had to move the hay bales out from the gazebo and push oh. the hay bales back up next to it. Guys, there's a man <laughs> riding <laughs> with a little fairy. <laughs> fairy. <laughs> Tails <laughs> curved. <laughs> So guys, the show is over, they are packing up right now. So guys, you know they're giving out first prize, second prize, third prize.